In this video I'm going to remove the carburetor on a Tecumseh lawnmower engine and I'm going to clean it and do a partial rebuild. Uh, it's going to take me probably two or three videos to, to do everything so in this first video I'm going to show you how to remove the carburetor from the engine. The first thing I'm going to do is remove this air uh, filter housing cover. It just pops up. Just lift this, this side and lift up and it just comes off. I need to remove this air filter housing. Uh, it's held on by two bolts at the end of the carburetor here and they're quarter inch bolts. Once you have the uh, bolts removed, you can just pull the air filter housing away, back and up. Next thing I need to do is remove this gas tank. Um, it's held on by three bolts. The size is uh, 5 16 And I can just lift this up and, and kind of move it out of the way. I just need to take it off to, to remove this shroud. Next thing I'm going to remove is the engine shroud. It's held on by uh, two 516 bolts in front, one 516 bolt holding on this dipstick housing, and two 38 uh, bolts in the back. And uh, when you got all the bolts removed, you can just lift this off. Next thing I'm going to remove is the uh, carburetor throttle linkage. Uh, it's just held on by a Phillips screw here. Just loosen that up. Lift the throttle cable out and then lift it up like this and then pull it out of the, the hole there. Next I'm going to remove this uh, carburetor. Um, linkage plate assembly on top of the carburetor. It's held on by two uh, bolts here. Um, the, the washers on these bolts are star washers and they uh, when you tighten them down they actually leave a print inside on top of the plate here so when I go to reassemble this I'll know where to position this plate because of where those uh, where the star washers made their um, print on the plate. So first thing I'm going to do is remove this kill wire switch um, wire. It just pulls out and then remove the bolts. There's a uh, governor linkage attached to the an arm or a uh, a linkage on this plate and to, to remove this governor linkage you just need to turn the plate like this and um, work that uh, linkage out of the hole and that's it. 
I'm going to leave the uh, intake manifold attached to the engine and I'm going to re remove the carburetor from the manifold this time. Uh, my last video I just took the whole thing off, but I need to get the carburetor free from this from this manifold so it'll fit in the the tank I'm going to use to clean the carburetor. Just these two bolts, um, seven sixteenths. Now I can uh, pull the carburetor off. Just pull the carburetor back. Um, there's one more governor linkage here attached to this uh, throttle butterfly on the carburetor. Uh, just twist the carburetor and uh, pull the linkage out. And remove the clamp from the uh, fuel hose. Slide it down and then you can pull the uh, fuel line off. And there's the carburetor. When you pull the carburetor off of the manifold, um, be careful not to uh, try not to damage the gasket in between the carburetor and the manifold. Um, best thing you can do is, is get a new one and replace it. There's a couple of methods you can use to uh, identify your Tecumseh engine so you can get the correct carburetor uh, repair kit for it. Um, on the back of your engine shroud there's a long string of characters. Uh, they refer to these as numbers uh, even though there's letters in these numbers. Uh, but the first, the first set of numbers is your um, engine model number. On this uh, engine it's TBS 105. The second set of numbers is your uh, specification number. Um, 53055D. If you have those two numbers, you can use those to uh, get uh, get the correct uh, part number for your carburetor uh, repair kit. The second method you can use to ID your engine to get the correct correct car carb kit is on your carburetor right here. There's a number in, um, stamped into the carburetor. Uh, the first number is 1021, and the second set of numbers is D40. The first set is your manufacturing number, and the second uh, number is your uh, carburetor day code. Uh, if you have this manufacturing number, uh, 1021, uh, your small engine repair shop should be able to convert that number to the correct part number for your carburetor so you can get the correct, uh, correct kit. I am uh, going to stop the video here, and in the second part of this video, I'll disassemble this carburetor, clean it, and uh, uh, do a partial rebuild on it. Hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching.